All right, guys. Time is here. We are going to show you what we're gonna do on the walls in the bathroom. We talked about it a little on the live, but we're gonna show you today. So Jason's let's head outside to get it from this pole barn. So he's gonna bring it in here. I'm so excited, it's gonna be so beautiful. Especially with the slate. So let's wait for Jason to bring it in. Ta-da! White metal! <laughs> Big surprise! He's such a funny man. How can we only say that when you're on camera? Just faking it? Yep. Just like a lot of other things in life. Scout thinks I'm funny. You're lost. I love you. I'm enjoying my life. If you're just faking it, then that's your problem. All right, guys. I I think this might be a love it or hate it thing. Jenny, I think Jenny thinks everyone's gonna love it, but I think it's like the green tile behind the wood stove, and it's like a love green it or metal hate it, or green metal. What did I say? Tile. Watch out, Scout. I'll stay on this side. Scout, move. I think everyone's going to love it. I think love it or hate it. I think it's going to look amazing. There you go. Look at it. Look at it. It looks so pretty with the tile. Copper. Copper color. Yes, it's copper colored. It's not real copper because real copper is expensive. See, so guys, what do you think? I think it's going to look so good with the slate. What do you think? It's going to go on all the three walls and the ceiling, maybe? Yeah, I think so. The ceiling? Beautiful. There. It makes me happy. There you go, guys. Jenny's got her copper colored metal. It's gonna look so nice. I think it's gonna look nice, yeah. Should the, uh, that's 38 inches wide, so it should fit on the sides perfectly. On the back, we'll have to bend it and make it fit in nicely. Yeah, what do you guys think? <laughs> Did I do good? I'm happy with it. <laughs> I hope you guys think it's gonna be beautiful. Even if you don't like it, don't tell Jenny you don't like it. You can tell me you don't like it. I don't care. <laughs> They're not here. <laughs> they don't have to shower in it every day. So, all right, guys. I hope you like it. We're going to have to figure out the intricacies of the corners and all that. Guess what we're doing today, guys? Getting the metal up. If you saw the last video, you saw a little sneak peek of it, so. We're hoping to do the metal today. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them what you're playing with. Winging it. Oh my God. Guys, they have these foam strips that go underneath roofing metal. What I want to do is put these on the bottom because we're going to overlap this metal over the brick an inch or two. You know, however much six foot from there, I think it's an extra inch and a half. So I'm putting the foam down here and foam at the top. That's going to help keep humidity from coming up underneath behind the metal. And I got a bunch of adhesive. So I might run a line of adhesive uh, on top of it too. But I'm not sure if I'm going to get that brave. <laughs> Guys, it's like three degrees out today, which is the coldest it's been really this year. It's been pretty mild. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna get a piece of metal. If I can find one that's a little bit longer and practice bend it. A 
bunch of metal behind the shed, but... Bent right on the crease like it should, but I overbent it a little bit. Now getting it back is going to be the fun part. So now that this is at a 90 degree, a little more, uh, the sidewall is going to come in and crease over this. All right, guys. The camera wasn't in the right spot, I didn't realize it. But I put these weather seals on here. I put construction adhesive, waterproof construction adhesive underneath this and then the strips. Uh, I'm thinking of putting the construction adhesive on this side too, because this is sticky but not terribly sticky. So then I put that waterproof adhesive on top here so if there does get any moisture on this wall it doesn't come down and just go try to go behind the tile so that's nice and thick i'm gonna put i was gonna put the construction adhesive on this side too and then smack it on and then only screw it if i can on the top i might have to screw it on the corners a little bit but so this is gonna be a little tricky, so sorry if I don't get the best footage of it. And I'm gonna need you to hold this up for, for like a minute while I get okay. screws into it. Okay. You just get it all perfected and I will hold it when you're ready. Bottom. <clears throat> Hi, Timber Tea. Come cheer me up. I love you, buddy. I'm pretty lucky you and Mom put up with me.
I know. All right, it's been like 20, 30 minutes, so I've calmed down. I've said my apologies to Jen for being a butthead. Grumpy pants. I told her in the not so nice way that if we ever get another shower anywhere, it's going to be a pre built one and it's just going to slide in and be done in like three hours. Who gets that? Me. Don't want that. Me. I want that. We could have been showering the last three months. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. Because it would have taken one day. John and I could have done it in one day. Yeah, this is taking like um. This is taking like three months. I'll show it off there. Vanna, Price is Right. Whatever, girl. Oh, look how pretty it is. I love it. <laughs> Makes me happy. Is it gold or is it copper? It's copper. It looks beautiful with the slate. Here, I'll get my ugly mug out of the way. Looks so pretty with the slate. Yes? I think it's awesome. I think the ground looks purple with the camera because the purple is reflecting off the ceiling. It's not purple at all. Look at that, guys. And it overlapped the stone a little bit, so no water will like get down on the edge. And we sealed everything down there with waterproof adhesive. Now we just got to figure this out. What are we going to do with that? Metal or wood? I don't know. Whatever's going to make him least grumpy. Just leave it like that. No. For like a year or two. <laughs> no. Alright, let me go get a piece of metal or two and see if we can do something easy. Or if it's going to be a pain in the drain. as good as it gets. I don't know if it's going to look nice or not. Yeah, no. That just clogged up. No. Oh, we just do it like that. It's flat. This isn't on here. This needs to go. There we go. Alright, that'll work. I'll show you our chili. I cooked it all day. I made it good though this time. It's not the... <laughs> it's not the... Fudge fudge. Fudge fudge chili. <laughs> Let's check it out. Mm. There we go. I made sure to bring all the right ingredients. We're gonna sit on the couch, relax, cause we can. That's a good woman right there. Makes me chilly and takes care of the fire. I want to be warm. When it's uh, let's see, it's six degrees out right now, guys. So the cabin stays at around normal temperature when it's near zero. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us. We'll see you in the morning. Or maybe I'll finish the bathroom real quick. We'll see. We'll see how we feel. Yeah. We could shower in there either way now. What? Good morning. Morning. All right, guys. We had a good day yesterday. Got a lot done. Yeah. And... Almost all the way done with the shower-ish, I guess. <laughs> Wait, 
the sides anyway. All the plumbing and stuff will come later. So, but we got one more piece to put on the ceiling. We got tired last night and I just fiddled with other stuff. So let's get this last piece of metal in. Also, I don't think we videotaped at all last night, did we? Maybe for no, a minute? I offered and... Yeah, I wasn't in the mood to... You know, I get a lot more done when I'm not recording. Plus, everything I did last night was electrical. And I'm not an electrician, so I'm not going to show you how to do electricity and run lines. And you're not going to like the way I did it anyway, because I just plopped stuff in. So, uh... But we do have the power coming in through the floor here to this junction box. And then a power line comes up to this three-way switch. Uh, this one is going to operate a light right here. And we might tie in a light where this light is at. This one operates the light. So we hit the switch here. And we have the fan light. Now that thing is not as bright as it looked when we were at the store. So... Or when I was at the store and bought it. So I don't know if that'll be enough light for Jen. Um, but we'll figure it out. So like I said, I can put another light over here on this wall too if need be. But I wasn't planning on it. Because uh, I'm going to have one on both sides of the wall. On the other side of the wall anyway. So I can tie it in over here if we decide to do that. And then the third switch is for the vent fan. Which, I kind of got this fancier fan light, and it's got a speaker in it. We were jamming out to it last night, having fun. Taking my time, never felt like this before. My spoiled little babies. Uh, the reason I did it, that fancier one, it was like an extra 30 bucks. But it had, you know, the... Uh, quiet fan and the best light like that's an led light so it's low power draw and the quiet fan so uh 30 bucks was worth a big upgrade so it's not sitting there blowing your eardrums out and it does 80 cubic uh feet per minute rather than 50 so you got this fancy thing here it. for that so we'll do that later yeah once you pay like a quarter for it or something yeah so so yeah it's not super bright in here without the spotlight on. We're going to turn the spotlight on so we can finish the ceiling here. We got it all cut and I was fiddling with it and trying to get the grooves in. I had to get the grooves out to fit into the grooves up here. So let's get this done. It's way too big. Holy moly, did that actually fit? Look okay? Mm hmm kind of holding it up there we go guys I wish I didn't have to put screws on the seam here but this is a seam so I have to push them together here it is guys So what I'm going to do is put a nice big bead of silicone in this crack and then we're going to try to find some kind of trim to put over it. But I had to like, to make sure that this butt up against the wall I had to cut all these out to go in where the rib is at. This doesn't look perfect but once I put caulk over it or sealant or silicone or whatever we use then i don't know if we can get paintable silicone or caulk and then get this coppery color paint and then just paint that seam 
or if we need to put trim over it, but we'll figure that out. We have to finish putting vapor barrier on the walls out here and on the ceiling and get it nice and tight. And then a pine tongue groove will just go right underneath this edge, underneath this edge, and then it'll tuck up right here where the, right up here where the cement board's at. And there'll be trim piece, you know, on the front here, I'm sure. Or we'll put a piece of trim in front to block this. We'll figure out all the intricacies as we go, like we always do. Mm -hmm. So, so all right, what else are we going to do? And we'll get a shower curtain set up and show you a shower. Mm -hmm. So thanks for uh, tuning in. We appreciate you. May leave a comment and a thumbs up if you don't mind. And uh, if you're new here, subscribe. We got a whole lot of videos and been building for two and a half years. Yeah. Check it all out. Yeah. We have fun here most of the time. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Thanks very much. Best wishes. Mm -hmm.